Though the concept has been around for a couple of hundred years, it was really during World War II that submarines took their place as one of the most formidable weapons a navy can possess. German U-boats wreaked havoc in the Atlantic, and for the Americans in the Pacific, submarines were one of their most destructive weapons, making up just 2% of the navy, but being responsible for 30% of sunken Japanese vessels. As the Cold War dawned, both the US and the USSR made extensive use of submarines to keep a close eye on their adversary and to keep some of their nuclear arsenal mobile and ready at all times. Nuclear submarines posed a massive threat to both sides here, as they potentially allowed for one nation to get their nukes close enough to launch a devastating preemptive strike before the other could respond. Not to mention, if one nation's submarines can remain undetected during the crisis, it will more than likely survive the nuclear annihilation unfolding on land and will be able to launch a retaliatory strike even if their headquarters back home has already been blown to bits. As soon as nuclear weapons could be placed aboard them, submarines became a crucial aspect of mutually assured destruction. And so an underwater arms race was born, as each side worked to make stealth subs stealthier while simultaneously innovating new ways to detect and track them. In today's video, we're going to explore just how far stealth submarine technology has advanced and to what degree they still represent an existential threat to navies around the globe. Now, to understand how to make a submarine stealthy, we first need to understand what tools are used to search for them in the first place. Submarine detection systems come in a few different forms, which can be split into two general types. The first are acoustic detection methods, taking the form of active and passive sonar. Put simply, active sonar emits a pulse of sound into the water below, often called a ping. The sound waves from this ping are then reflected back up by the environment, allowing the sender to paint a picture of their surroundings. Soundings. Active sonar has one big drawback, though, and that's that the act of sending the ping allows the sender themselves also to be spotted, meaning if one submarine transmits a ping to its environment, this act is so loud that an enemy submarine can detect it from quite far away. Imagine a dark forest with two hunters searching for each other. Active sonar is like one of them momentarily turning on a bright flashlight. There's a chance that it illuminates their opponent if they're looking in the right spot, but there's also a chance that all this does is give away their position. For this reason, active sonar is rarely relied upon in combat submarines, as the risks generally outweigh the rewards. Passive sonar, on the other hand, poses no risk to the listener. Generally, passive sonar involves the use of hydrophones, special underwater microphones that listen for anomalies in the natural background noise, constantly on the lookout for man-made vibrations that come from running engines. Just before we continue with today's video, I do want to tell you about our fantastic sponsor, Keeps. Now look, as you can all probably tell, I know a thing or two about male pattern baldness. My hair ran for the hills about 10 years ago, and it's not coming back. However, I'm pretty confident that if it keeps back in the day when things just started getting a bit smooth and shiny, it might have been a different story. Keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and more affordable for guys like me to treat their male pattern baldness from the comfort of their home. That's right, no inconvenient trips to the doctor's office or pharmacy that take time out of your schedule. You simply order in online and it's delivered directly to your door at whatever time you decide is convenient. And on top of that, it's affordable, typically half the cost of traditional pharmacy prices. Keeps offers clinically proven treatments. According to studies, these treatments are 90% effective for treating hair loss and can increase hair growth by up to 35%. Plus, they have a two-in-one gel that's like a superhero for your hair. Most Keeps customers notice results within six months of starting treatment. And in addition to great treatments, Keeps also offers hair thickening shampoo, conditioner, and styling pomade. So not only can they help stop your hair loss, but they can make your hair look awesome. All things that I wish I could do. I wish Keeps had been around 10 years ago because, uh, yeah. To date, Capes have helped nearly 1 million men keep their hair with over 4,500 five star reviews from satisfied customers. Plus, the delivery arrives, it's non branded, so discretion is the name of the game here. No need to be embarrassed. Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash Simon or click the link in the description below. That's K E E P S dot com slash Simon. And now back to today's video. Passive sonar has become highly advanced over the years. For example, based on the Hertz range detected, modern systems can not only locate but also identify the nationality of the ships that they detect. They can be so sensitive that even if a ship's engine is off, they can still hear sound 
sounds from within, such as hammers being dropped on the floor. Some passive sonar arrays are laid out on the sea floor, marking off grids where one nation can keep a close eye while others are towed by the submarine itself. And so, as the years of sonar became more and more sensitive, nations invested their time and money into making their submarines even quieter. Sound absorbent tiles reduced the noise that escaped the sub, and improved engine designs cut out unnecessary sound whenever possible. But the big leap in submarine stealth came in the 1960s with the advent of nuclear powered propulsion systems. These took out many of the engine's noisiest parts, making nuclear-powered submarines so quiet that most forms of active and passive sonar failed to detect them, and for many years it seemed that subs had finally gained the upper hand in the technology race. So, now that we've covered the basics, let's get into the best examples of stealth submarines that exist around the world. Remember though, unlike aircraft for instance, there aren't any submarines in service that are officially labelled as stealth craft. The stealth part is usually just implied. That being said, there are a few that cut above the rest when it comes to staying undetected beneath the waves. First up, we have the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. The United States Navy currently operates 14 of these, and together they can carry nearly half of all active US nuclear warheads. When these submarines went through sea trials in the early 1980s, they were found to be virtually undetectable, representing an absolutely huge step forward in the stealth game. And this advanced stealth comes despite their relatively large size, as they're over 560 feet or 170 meters long, making them the largest submarine class in the US Navy. And because they're nuclear powers, they can essentially remain submerged for as long as they have supplies for the crew, which is usually up to four entire months. Ohio class subs have been a pinnacle of the US nuclear deterrent for more than 40 years now, but the Navy is actually already preparing their replacement. You see, their successor is going to be the all new Columbia class submarines, engineered to be the quietest ever made. Much of the information regarding their design is not public yet, but we do know that they plan to incorporate a quieter propulsion system using electric motors, and it is anticipated that the nuclear core will be sufficient to power the submarine for its entire 40-year lifespan without ever being replaced. It's planned for these submarines to enter service sometime in the early 2030s. But the United States is not the only nation with submarines that are tricky to find. In 2022, Russia unveiled the design for its newest, called Arcturus. Arcturus is a unique one, because it appears to have been designed with the signature sloping sides and blending lines that are reminiscent of modern stealth aircraft, perhaps hinting that this sub will be extra hard to find even through the use of active sonar. Likewise, the UK's Royal Navy is currently in the process of building their newest line of nuclear subs, the Dreadnought class, also intending to implement quieter electric drive systems and will potentially have newly designed sound absorbent tiles on both the outside and the inside of the outer hull. Now, it's probably not surprising to hear the likes of the US, the UK, and Russia when we're talking about the most advanced naval innovations on the planet, but there is another nation that always seems to compete surprisingly well in these conversations of technological innovation. And that country is Sweden. Swedish defense company Saab was already the designer of a fine group of stealthy submarines, the Gotland class, which were of such high quality that the US Navy even leased one of them for two years to study it and use it to evaluate American detection and submarine warfare capabilities. But the newest upcoming Swedish submarine, the Blekinja class, is going to be even better and it will be receiving a powerful upgrade, a technology which Saab has named Ghost. GHOST stands for Genuine Holistic Stealth, and it involves several steps. First up is installing special rubber mounts to all contact points within the sub's frame, as well as lining the walls with their own specially designed acoustic tiles. What these do is capture any ambient interior noise. The shape of the outside hull was also specially redesigned to minimize drag in the water to further evade more modern detection systems. And on top of all of this, the subs have been made to be incredibly resilient, passing full-scale depth charge tests with the detonation just a few feet from the submarine with a full crew inside. All systems remained fully functional following the blast, showing that even though they aren't even nuclear-powered, the new Blechinga class is shaping up to be one of the most advanced and stealthiest submarine types on the planet. All right. Now, all these new innovations and catchy press releases have led to several submarines earning statuses in the public eye as effectively invisible or absolutely undetectable. However, the arms race is not one-sided, and as submarines strive to become quieter and stealthier, the sophisticated methods of detecting them continue to evolve in tandem. 
For example, your submarine can hide from passive and active radar all at once, but you could still be spotted thanks to minute amounts of radiation being passed into the water from your nuclear propulsion system. And not only that, but even the tiniest of chemical changes also have the potential to give away a submarine's location. Another recent innovation is called Magnetic Anomaly Detection, or MAD, which senses slight shifts in the Earth's magnetic field caused by the metal hull of the submarine. Along with this, it seems that even bubbles in the sub's wake are shaping up to be efficient, detectable signatures. Seeing this, some have speculated that the day may soon come when submarines can't hide at all and the depths of the ocean become transparent to technology. Former Deputy Secretary General of NATO Rose Gautamula even said, the stealth of submarines will be difficult to sustain as sensing of all kinds, in multiple spectra, in and out of the water, becomes more ubiquitous. Another emerging method is known as LIDAR. LIDAR fires lasers into the water from above to paint a picture of the environment below the surface, and it can be installed on satellites. One can easily imagine a swarm of satellites constantly circling the Earth, searching for submarines, making it impossible to go very far without being seen. However, a lot of these newer technologies do have some drawbacks. LiDAR, for instance, is highly expensive, especially if we're talking about the satellite-based version. And many of the other sensors that we've discussed can be easily interfered with by things like seismic activity, wildlife, and even civilian ships. And this is why many experts agree that the future of anti-submarine warfare will most likely follow the trends of other evolving aspects of modern combat, a transition to drones. Swarms of underwater drones could easily be mounted with several types of sensors, allowing them to scan large parts of the sea. On top of this, utilizing drones would keep the main sub out of harm's way. It could remain hidden in advantageous geography, while more expendable drones survey the area, allowing it to only move when the coast is clear. There are some logistical challenges to this, though. Controlling and maintaining hundreds or even thousands of undersea drones would be immensely costly as well as highly difficult, so it's likely that instead drones could be used alongside other detection methods to create so-called choke points, to create impassable zones for enemy subs. Now, some of these drones are already being tested and used around the world, including some rather creative ones, such as the Chinese RoboShark, a remote-controlled submersible that not only looks like a fish, but it swims like one too, which its designers claim is quieter than traditional propulsion. China also claims to have recently invented a new type of detection in late 2023, which they say can detect even the stealthiest US submarines from afar. Now, if that's true, and the future of submarine detection is indeed an unavoidable combination of drones, satellites, and dozens of other highly reliable methods, the solution may not be to become quieter, but rather to become louder. Not the submarine, of course, but rather its surroundings. Perhaps future submarines can ensure their survivability by deploying noisy drones to spread out in their environment, creating loud disturbances in the surrounding water. Obviously, this eliminates any sort of stealthy first approach, but if you've already been spotted, this type of tactic could make it very difficult to figure out your precise location. One could even design an inexpensive drone that mimics the signature of its parent sub to really convince its enemies. It's a tactic similar to flares pulling away an enemy missile or countermeasures attracting an enemy torpedo. In fact, some analysts have claimed that this type of distracting noise may be created unintentionally by commercial ships in the future as underwater civilian industry rises, which could muddy the waters for long-range detection systems. But in all reality, much of this is entirely speculation. There are so many factors at play for the future of submarine stealth, such as the aid of artificial intelligence, that it's really anyone's guess as to how it's going to turn out. If they truly do become too easy to detect, a few decades from now, we may be forced to accept that submarines are no longer the apex predators of the world's navies. However, one thing is for sure, that the battle of detection and evasion will continue to rage on in the coming years, and there's no telling what fascinating technologies will emerge as a result.